Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of finding volume. This is standard 5.6b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 18 of the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got a figure here that shows, very important to see here, they say it twice, the base layer of a rectangular prison that Sophie built using blocks. And these, this is just a layer of blocks. This is not a rectangular prism. So let me, let me see if I can draw that rectangular prism here. And I'll just, might not be perfect, but I'll make my best representation of this rectangular prism. All right, so this is the rectangular prism that Sophie uh, is building using blocks. Let me get kind of back here, make it look 3D. So what we have here is this base layer. You see this right here? This actually just goes right there. It's just that bottom layer. That's what that means, that base, that bottom layer of blocks. And so the prism was made by stacking 10 layers. So there's a total of 10 layers. Each layer is identical to the base and each block is a volume of one. So it's just one cubic unit. We need to find the volume of this rectangular prism. Well, how do we find the volume? Well, if I've got this one little layer right here, right, that's kind of what she is trying to draw here. Let's see. So that's kind of like my, there's my base layer. And if I I'm not going to necessarily count it out, but this is kind of what it looks like, right? Is that we've got this front layer right here, and there's actually two rows. So I'm going to draw a second row back there. There we go. So let's pretend there, that the number of blocks I have here is equal to the number of blocks I have there. You notice there's room in that rectangular prism for um, a total of 10 layers. So I only have one of those layers here. So how do we find volume? Right now we've got a good picture of it, and that's going to help us here. Well, there's two different equations, right? When we first learn about volume, it's length times width times height. But as we get older, it really transitions into uh, base times height. And they use they tend to use lowercase letters, right? This h is still the height. This base is the area of the base, and we know we can find an area of a rectangular prism by length times width. So those two just kind of get combined into that, that letter B for base. It's still the same way we find it, length times width times height. Just gets shown a little bit differently. So what is the area of that base? Well, uh, let's find the length, right? So if we're counting this short side as the length, I've just got two. So I'm just gonna put two right there. And we've got the width. Oh, look at this. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it's 15 across, 2 back. Okay? So it's a 15 by 2. So we're going to have to multiply that, right? So that's going to be 15 by 2. And really what we're looking at here is that's 30, which is not one of our options, nor should it be one of our options. We're not looking for how big is the base layer. We're looking for the volume of the rectangular prism. And they tell us there are 10 layers. So there are 10 of these layers. I just have one of them. So if I were to draw it, right, it would just kind of look, kind of look like this. And I would draw another layer and then another layer. If I could draw it identically, another layer. And I would do it to where there are 10 layers, right? I'm just going to go up here and just say 10 times. So I'm going to have to multiply that 30 by the 10, right? So I've got my 15 times 2, that makes 30. And I've got 10 stacks of 30, or 10 layers of 30. So that's my base is 30. Multiply that by my height, 10 stacks or 10 layers. 30 times 10, well, that's going to make 300 cubic units. So my answer is J.